Hey guys, Keelan here. Just thought I'd um, talk to you a little while today. Um, got a few things on my mind. Just want to speak them. Um, I'm sure you all heard in the news about uh, Norway and the mass killings there. I um, think we can all agree that sucked big time. Um, but what um, what's really kind of sad is the after effects of this. Now, Norway said, pretty much, the authorities anyway, after what happened, said that it would not change a damn thing in Norway, right? So, let me just reiterate that, not change anything in a free and open society. Now, a few, few days ago, like four or five days ago, this video is late, I know, but, you know, I just didn't have the time. But anyway, about four or five days ago, I read a news article that, Game stores in Norway are taking off the shelves violent video games. Now, I think we can all agree that if a killer cites certain games as what he train, used to train to do something in real life, I think we can all pretty much say that that is crazy talk. Now, you know, if, if you're saying that you used a game to plan something in real life, I don't care how realistic the game is, that person is crazy, right? And we have these people in, in, in real life called crazy people, and these crazy people go on and do crazy things like mass murder or whatever. Now, this has got nothing to do with a computer game, and a computer game is a simulation, yes, but it's so obvious that it is, is not real life. No matter how good it gets, it's not real life. It's fictional. It doesn't exist. You know, it does exist, but only in, a, in fiction. So, the fact that they are removing games from the shelves because of something a crazy person did, and we're talking about one guy here, um, the, the concept is ludicrous. And it's ludicrous because it's happened before and we're letting it, we're actually condoning it happen again. I'm reading comments by actual gamers who agree with this behavior. How stupid do you have to be? I mean, look, I'll just read one out for you. I can understand this. This makes perfect sense, frankly. The shooter kills a lot of people and says the gaming helped him do it. This leads to certain wariness towards violent video games, a wariness that is completely understandable because the guy totally said that they were pivotal to his shootings. Now, that's wrong. The guy never said that. He said, yeah, it helped him. But I could say, I don't know, a piece of music helped me or a book helped me. I'm sure nobody's banning the books that he read on how to make bombs and stuff. Yeah, the, the, some of them are, but some of them are still out there. You can, you can go to the library and pick a book about chemistry and stuff. Do we ban those? No, because people don't use them for nefarious purposes. So, there's a lot of stuff out there that is someone could use it for some nefarious purpose, right? Do we ban them? No. Because, do we take them off the shelf? No, because only a crazy person would do that. So what do we do with crazy people? We lock them up um, and throw away the key. That's what we do. That It's not the ideal solution, but that's what we do. We don't deny all the normal people the same material that's available everywhere else. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever, guys. And I guess that's what I'm trying to... I have to talk about this because it's driving me, you know, it just it just boggles my mind, you know, that people are so stupid. I mean, normally I look at what people do and I say, you've got a reason. You've got a reason, I understand it. But this beggars logic. If a terrorist, the sole purpose of them doing the terrorist act is to limit your freedom, okay? Limit your freedom, make you scared, make you look at each other in fear. You know, it's a terrorist, right? So the worst thing you can possibly do is deny people stuff because of a terrorist. Because then they've won. They have won. 
So this guy, this crazy guy who shot up a bunch of people, he has already scored a victory by getting violent video games taken off the shelves. That is not a huge victory, but it's a small victory. A small freedom has been taken away by shops pressured, by uh, a majority of idiots that don't understand that a game is an expression of art form just like every other art form. There are thousands of paintings, thousands of you know, pictures out there of violence. Do we take those off the shelves? Do we deny people access to them? No, because normal, sane people, we don't have to worry about that. You know, it, you just don't have to worry about that. You can, you know, show people, pretty, a normal person, pretty much anything. It will not change who they are. It will not change what they do. And um, now it's not that I'm uh, not sympathetic. I am very, very extremely sympathetic to the situation, but, um, why would you, you know, it's just, it just baffles me that people are accepting of this, you know, it's like a knee-jerk reaction, and people are like, well, it's a knee-jerk reaction, that's fine, and it's like, well, no, it's not fine, because you're letting someone influence your life. And the, 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 the best thing you can do to a terrorist is pretty much say, well, yeah, we're going to honor the dead, we're going to do what you're supposed to do, but we're not going to let them change our lifestyle, we're going to live the same way, and you won't have any effect upon it. That's the best thing you can do. But, you know, giving in and kowtowing to, just because a guy play, I mean, you know, it's like people say, like, um... The guy, uh, you know, probably liked certain kinds of music. Do we ban that music? No, of course we don't. Do we take it off the shelf? No, of course we don't. The guy read a lot of books about Knights Templar and and all that kind of stuff and anti uh, anti Islamic stuff. Do we do we deny people access to that? No, we don't because it's stupid. It it. Why would you deny the general population access to something just because one man? went nuts. It's like we can't have, it's like, I'm quoting Chris Rock, but can't we have crazy no more? Do we somehow lose crazy people? Do they just like disappear? And all of a sudden it has to be, something has to have caused them to be going, you know, going crazy? I don't think so. I don't think anything's changed. I think people will still become isolated from the community and go nuts. It's, it just, just what happens in our society. Our society is not very perfect, and because it's not it's not at all perfect, you have people who get outside society and they go nuts. And just because, and believe you and me, you have to be one insane person to kill a bunch of people. You have to be completely off your head. I don't care what you say, you know, unless you're like a trained military you know, guy, you know, you have to be in completely insane to go around and kill a bunch of people. So, by that point, your mind has gone. Now, what leads someone to lose their mind has got nothing to do with what game they were playing. I mean, we know that the guy was estranged from his sister, who was his rock. She went to America. And we know that um, his dad moved away as well. And we know that, you know, he became a reclusive, lonely guy. And, um, you know, so who knows what set him off? It could have been anything. Um, and yet people are like, oh, it was the games. You know, it's like games is the whipping boy right now. Look at the Beatles back in 1960. They were seen as the devil's music. Back then, Beatles was actually banned in places, taken off the shelves, because it was seen as corrupting the youth and making people do crazy things. Many musics in the past were taken off the shelves because they thought it encouraged certain types of behavior. Now, that's not the case anymore because it's been found that this is not true. There's not one single grain of evidence to suggest so. And this is just another example of history repeating itself over and over and over. And people need to wake up and understand that Art and games are officially an art form. 
They have officially been recognized as an art form. Art does not inspire violence. Violence inspires violence. Being a crazy person inspires violence. And I guess that's all I wanted to get off my chest to you today. It was just kind of... I'm, I'm sure, like, in the gaming community, you'll pretty much understand where I'm coming from. Um, you can uh, kind of understand where, you know, where the sentiment's coming from against these violent video games. But at the same time, you can see the absurdity of it. And it is absurd. I have to go on record saying that because it is. It is what it is, and it's crazy. Um, yeah, and I think that's all I've got. I'm going to say about the subject. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you agree with it, whether you, whether you don't agree with taking off games off the shelf just because some deranged gunman happened to play it, you know. And if so, you know, why, sh why shouldn't they take the music off that he's listening to and the TV shows he watched? You know, let's take violent TV shows off the shelves. Let's take violent movies off the shelves. What's, what's next? Where do we draw the line? You know? Where do we draw the line? Where do we... How... You know, it's like... It's like this... We, we're descending into uh, the realms of thought crime. If you read, like, any kind of Orwellian books and stuff, it talks about descending into the realms of thought crime, where what you think is what you're going to do. And, you you know, what, what media and stuff you look at is how you're going to behave. And there's no real evidence there's no um you know yeah someone might be more likely to do something maybe so but the majority of people you know the vast majority of people doesn't affect them at all pretty much so why is it a bad thing no more than a book might or a movie might or you know, music you know whatever it's just it just baffles my mind that we kind of almost descending back We'd made so much progress, and now we're going back with games. Games is a new target for this kind of dumbass thinking that what you play as a game makes you a violent person, or makes you, uh, just because a handful of people, it's so few people, and the fact that it's so few people who play games commit crimes, if you actually look at how many gamers commit crimes, it's 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 actually lower than non-gamers. So overall, games are a good thing. They they lower crime. Uh, so it just boggles my mind that people taking their aggression out on a game rather than real people is a bad thing. You know, I'll I'll leave it with that argument. You know, that's what they're saying. People, you know relieving their frustrations and their anger and whatever else from the day out on the game having fun in the game is a bad thing apparently and we should all take it off the shelves and and because it might inspire another gunman so yeah i'm gonna i'm rambling now so i'm gonna leave it off there guys let me know what you think looking forward to hearing your replies see you next time guys